Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and from today we are going to start our new Python programming playlist which will be based on tkinter which is GUI development library or you can say a package in Python. So what does this tkinter or GUI development mean? So GUI development stands for graphical user interface and we will be developing those GUI based applications where you can find a window, you can find a minimize, maximize and close button, some text fields, input fields and everything else that you may want. So we will be developing those applications and so far we have learned how to develop command line applications which basically means that we, we get a black window where we have to execute our program with executing those commands and there we run our code in a black and white window precisely in command prompt or terminal in Linux. Okay, so we learned up to this point but now from today we will be learning those GUI development tricks and we will be learning about tkinter in Python a lot. So without any ado, let's get started with this playlist and let's get into our computer. Hey guys, so I'm back with my computer and now let us start with installation of PyCharm. So what you have to do is simply open your favorite browser and type in PyCharm download. So now with using this PyCharm download, you will be prompted with this type of, uh, you, you will find this type of search results, which says download PyCharm. Simply click here. Then you can find these two versions, which is professional. This version is paid and the another version is community which is free version so i would like to go with free version so i will simply click on download and then it will start to download pycharm on my computer i have already downloaded it so i will simply cancel this and let's get started with the installation process okay so i will open my downloads folder here so in my downloads i have this pycharm so i will run this pycharm okay now we have this PyCharm setup, community edition setup. So simply click on next, simply click on next. You can ch change the path if you want to. Then here I will select this add bin folder to path. Then I will select this Py and this. I will not select this update context menu, which will change this context menu and it will add open folder as project in here. So I will, I will not uh, select that. but if you are comfortable with that then you can select that checkbox as well i will go with this and i will simply click on next here i will simply click install and it will start to install pycharm community edition on our computer so it will take some time and i will be back when the installation will be finished now here as you can see our pycharm community edition is asking us to reboot our computer so I simply click on reboot now and reboot your computer and I will be back after restarting my computer. So as you can see, I have restarted my computer and now I will simply double click on this PyCharm community to run it. So we will open our PyCharm and here I will simply click I confirm and I will click continue. I will click don't send here. It is asking me that do you want to send anonymous data or not. So uh, whatever error our PyCharm may be facing, it will send it to their server but I don't want that. Now here, it is asking me to take a quick onboard, onboarding tour. I, I know how to use uh, PyCharm, so you can take that tour if you want. So here, we will go with new project. We will open a new project. We'll start a new project. Here, as you can see, our project is, the default location is this, but I would like to change it. So I will change the, uh, change the location into my uh, D drive. I would like to add this into my D drive, which is, uh, where I store all my data here I will 
create a folder tkinter tutorials okay so i will create a folder named tkinter tutorials and i will click ok and i will select that folder here tkinter tutorials and i will hit ok here so now my location is changed and as you can see it is uh, currently it is using new environment using virtual environment and you can learn about virtual environments on the internet if you want or you can select the uh, the interpreter from here so what you have to do is system interpreter and you can select this as well so it will be our system interpreter and this will be our new virtual environment i will go with this currently and what we will do is we will simply click create so simply change the folder if you want to and then simply hit on create you don't have to change anything simply hit on create so as you can see our pycharm is now creating virtual environments and it is doing all that stuff so every day when you open your pycharm you get a nice tip if you want that tip you can um, you can read all that tip and i think you should not uh, click here you should not check this box don't show tips you have to uh, let it show you tips so because uh, pycharm shows us a lot of feature that we don't know so here it creates this simple python script simple uh, welcome script you can say so main.py this is our python script so far so here we have this script and what i would like you to do i would like you to change some things in this pycharm so simply go to file settings open your settings in pycharm and by opening settings you can find the uh, basically what you have to do is you have to search for uh, in your uh, key map so in your key map or keyboard bindings you have to search for increase font size so increase so here we have increase font size and here i will set the mouse shortcut okay so i will set the mouse shortcut to control plus vlup and similarly for decreasing our font size so for decreasing our font size i will set the shortcut control and mouse wheel down and i will hit apply and okay so now i can increase and decrease the text size like this with using control and my mouse up and down mouse wheel up and down so now let us check that everything is fine so let us print hello world here so we have hello world here and now let us run this code so as you can see we have hello world that means everything is working quite good so far so in this video we have learned how to uh, basically install pycharm but now let us check that uh, our tkinter is working so simply uh, use import tkinter and then run your code to see that any errors are coming or not so we don't have any errors that means our tkinter is installed there and uh, tkinter basically comes pre-installed with your python installation if you don't have tkinter installed then you have to run the commands if you are on if you are on ubuntu or if you are on uh, something like linux based operating systems you have to run a command like sudo apt install python 3 dash pip which will install the pip first and then you have to install pip install python 3 dash tkinter to install our tkinter or you can use python 3 dash tk to install this tkinter so uh, in this video we have learned how to install pycharm and now in our further videos we'll learn how to use our tkinter okay so uh, thank you for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next video